in old days, change management used to be almost like project management. Let's get over and done with this one so we can move back to the good old normal. But at the moment, I feel that they're actually what general management, in essence, is it's all about leading chains and a number of overlapping chains is at the same time. I always like to build narratives. So uh, how I made it this time, we start, started by investigating the context of chains, the culture, the structure, the people, and what, all the things that make an organization. Then uh, we moved to actually understanding the reactions and responses to different chains initiatives, what causes them, the resistance to chains, the support for chains. And now we are looking at the do's and don't do's of, of, of chains management, how to drive it through more like a project. But we are going to conclude tomorrow by looking at um, the practices and the choices that make your organization uh, more chainsable, more equipped to chains on an ongoing basis. So what makes it agile, nimble, what makes you, it easy to move resources mm. and, 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 and uh, uh, move quickly enough in the market. At the moment, it's a luxury from the faculty perspective. Uh, there is enough diversity, people from different industries, different companies, some of them small, some of them really big, mm -hmm. but still the size is so that actually you get to know every, each and every person during the module and you can even tailor a bit. Uh, I think what makes this is partially the fact that uh, regionally there are a number of very strong industrial, international, global companies mm -hmm. that have this commitment and uh, that makes sure that we are not being too local, but we are also having the global scale at the same time.